Hello friends. Now let me talk about capital formation. Capital formation is otherwise known as investment. It involves production of more capital goods like machine, tools, equipments, etc. which are used for further production of goods. The need for capital formation is for creating additional productive capacity. Thereby, current consumption has to be sacrificed and savings of current income has to be made because if whole of the current present capacity is used to produce consumer goods and no new capital goods are made, production of consumer goods in future will decline. So, it is very important to make capital goods such as tools, instruments, machines, transportations, plant and equipments. Higher the rate of capital formation will help for production and productive capacity which in turn will increase the efficacy of production. Efforts will accelerate economic growth and add to employment opportunities. Now there are stages of capital formation. They are mainly three. Let us discuss one after the other. First one is savings. The basic factor on which formation of cap capital depends is the ability to save. The ability to save depends on the income of an individual. Higher the income, higher the savings. This is because when the increase in income happens, the propensity to consume comes down and saving proportionate increases. This is true in the case of economy also because in a rich country, the saving will ability will be more and the richer quickly compared to the poor country which has no ability to save and therefore has limited capacity for growth. This ability to serve encourages the government to save through or to save uh, the workers and the government encourages savings through insurance and provident funds and the ability to save alone does not only count but the willingness to save also matters here. The next is mobilization of savings. What is mobilization of savings? A money saved without use is not of use. So these savings should be used in a purposeful way, in a production way, for which there should be a wide spread of network of banking and other financial institution which can collect these savings and thereby take them to prospective investors for good productions, capital formations. The third and the last one is investment. Real savings has to be converted into real capital asset. An economy should have good entrepreneurs who are prepared to take risk of business and invest the savings in a productive areas to create new capital assets. These three are the stages of capital formation. Now let me go to the last factor of production namely entrepreneur. The fourth factor of production is needed which combines the other factors in a right proportion and initiate the process of production and bears 
the risks involved in it this is done by an entrepreneur now the entrepreneur is the fourth factor which does all 